Kennedy's address to the nation has been hailed by the nation's allies as the only reply the West could give to red threats in Berlin. He spoke quietly, yet firmly. Good evening. Seven weeks ago tonight, I returned from Europe to report on my meeting with Premier Khrushchev and the others. His grim warnings about the future of the world, his aid memoir on Berlin, the subsequent speeches and threats which he and his agents have launched, and the increase in the Soviet military budget that he has announced have all prompted a series of decisions by the administration and a series of consultations with the members of the NATO organization. The immediate threat to free men is in West Berlin, but that isolated outpost is not an isolated problem. The threat is worldwide. Our efforts must be equally wide and strong and not be obsessed by any single manufactured crisis. We face a challenge in Berlin, but there is also a challenge in Southeast Asia where the borders are less guarded, the enemy harder to find, and the dangers of communism less apparent to those who have so little. We face a challenge in our own hemisphere, and indeed, wherever else, the freedom of human beings is at stake. The world is not deceived by the communist attempt to label Berlin as a hotbed of war. There is peace in Berlin today. The source of world trouble and tension is Moscow, not Berlin. And if war begins, it will have begun in Moscow and not Berlin. For the choice of peace or war is largely theirs, not ours.